Ten-year-old Faraz Ali Hassan was diagnosed with leukemia when he was just six. Because of Yemen's ongoing civil war, doctors prescribed a shortened treatment. Only after he came back from his absence, we found that the cancer had returned, likely because a steady treatment could not be followed. Faraz has begun his treatment all over again. His father comes to keep him company and to keep him safe. The medicine is not available at the hospital. They are saying there's no chemotherapy, there's no support, not from other institutions or from anywhere. In the war-torn city of Taiz, the only cancer center now operates as a makeshift clinic. There were 643 deaths in 2015 as a result of the closing of our original location. And because of the lack of services and medicines, most especially the lack of availability of specialized and basic chemotherapy. They are the uncounted casualties of war. Those needing long-term care now facing deadly obstacles. The facilities providing their care, now victims of the violence. In April, it was the Children's Hospital in Aleppo, Syria. In February, it was this hospital in Idlib province. Doctors Without Borders says more than 60 of the facilities it supports in Syria were hit in airstrikes last year, a dozen completely destroyed. Meanwhile, in Afghanistan, the only hospital in Kunduz province is now closed. A U.S. strike on the building left more than 40 people dead. In Nigeria, survivors of a seven-year insurgency by Boko Haram Islamists now say they face a grim future. Lost limbs, likely spelling a lost livelihood. Many of these places were already struggling to provide adequate long-term care for those who need it most. The wounds of war have only made that option, however slim, more difficult. And because those who are sick at home often die at home, the real death toll will likely remain unknown. We're in the middle of it all, we the civilians. We are the victims as we turn into the casualties, whether we are in the hospital or at home. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.